Hey team, wanted to make a video to show you how to put in an order. Um, whenever you first start your business, it's very important to know that every time, as long as you have this website, this web page that people can come to, you want to always have an open party. Right over here where it says open party, you want to make sure there is something here for them to click on. And so I'm going to show you how to do that to make sure that you have an open party at all times. If you can see here, I have one that says Tiffany online orders order here please i always have something set up like that sometimes it'll say tiffany's july parties order here july orders order here tiffany's online orders um if it's a sale then it will say you know for the the, the sale put in the orders here and so you want to make sure that something is always open there so let me show you how to put that in also, if you're going to do any party, whether it be um, a home party or a um, basket party or a Facebook party, you want to always have an open shop here so that people can click on hers and be able to go there. So they'd be able to select a shop and actually be able to shop within that party. Okay. So for instance, if they click here, then it's going to say, thank you. Please confirm that you would like to shop within here and then confirm. Okay, um, and since he's coming up with some really good updates that they're going to be doing in the next couple months, that it's going to be more awesome. So, how to do that? Go to your workstation orders here, or on your workstation tab, right? And you want to click on the tab orders at the top here. Okay, then you're going to come over here and click Cincy order. All right, so as you can see here, this is where you're going to be filling in all of your information. Now, um, as far as home party goes, whether pick home or basket party, does not necessarily matter at all. Um, in fact, this party planner option is going to go away when I'm a completely different system, and I'll probably make a new video when that happens. Um, but at this point, I almost always just choose basket party because nobody's going to see this part of it but me, and there's a lot less to fill in if it's a basket party. Okay, then it says show on PWS. Yes, PWS is your personal website. So you want to make sure it is showing up on there so that they are able to click it like we just said. Name of the party. Let's say this is your launch party. So you can put this is Susie's launch party, right? Okay, so that can be a great first start. Or maybe um, it's just the one that you want to have general on the website all the time. Then you could put Susie's online orders, please order here. Or Susie's July orders, please order here. Whatever the case may be, because you want to make sure that people know that they need to click on that whenever they're checking out. Because there's nothing worse than having someone put a very large online order on your website, but not click a party. Why is it important? Why does it matter? It matters because if they choose a party to put it under, then that party will get host rewards. That means they're gonna get free and they're gonna get half price rewards on in that party. So that's very important. Okay, so oftentimes, um, you if it's not your launch party, then you might have someone else here. So if it's a Facebook party or a home party, you put their information in here. Um, sometimes I'll just click that just to make it easier anyways. Then ship this party. Now, if it's local to me, even if someone else is the host, I will still have it shipped to consultant. The reason I do that is because I want to get the orders. I'm going to divide them up. I'm going to label them. I'm going to put thank you cards with them, all that good stuff. So that's why I want them all to come to me. If it's a long distance party, maybe a Facebook party, then I'm going to have it sent to them. So that's where the difference would come about. Okay, so here we are. Now we're in the order. We have it all set up. We're good to go. So that is how you put in an order um, as far as having it on your website. I'll do a whole other video showing you how to actually place the order.